So in, in the mortality space, and we had, we, you know, this is, mortality is based on, on a pool of large data. Right. So um, when when we would predict a life expectancy, it wouldn't be like if I predicted your life expectancy and it said, Tom, you had 272 months to live. It didn't mean in 272 months you would drop dead. It meant in 272 months you had an exact same chance of being alive as you did of being dead. It was the center of the bell curve. Right. It was the it was the median uh, life expectancy. And then to move you to one side of the curve or to the other, we would look at specific risk factors one of which was your LDL cholesterol over time. And this was based on a pool of 370 million lives. It is the largest population database in the world. So if you had low levels of triglyceride and slightly elevated LDL cholesterol, low density lipoprotein, this was a marker for longevity. If you had elevated triglyceride and low um, and high LDL, it was a marker for cardiovascular disease. So when you talk about markers for cardiovascular disease, you cannot look at LDL in a vacuum. It is not a linear correlation between increased LDL and an increased risk of cardiovascular disease. That is absolutely patently false. If you have increased LDL cholesterol and you have increased levels of triglyceride, your mortality rate skyrockets. If you have increased levels of LDL cholesterol and low triglyceride, your, L, uh, your um, incidence of cardiovascular disease plummets. So there is no linear correlation between LDL cholesterol on its own and cardiovascular disease. And that's and you're what I saying said. that from an insurance uh, predictive model perspective. An insurance predictive model that was based on actual mortality, right? 